that we're here to talk about the water. I come from, um, my father was a fisherman. And uh, I didn't go to school until the age of 10 at the residential school. Maybe between seven and 10, he taught me a lot of the uh, traditional ways. And one of the times that we went out was on a boat. We didn't have a motor boat, but he had, he had, his arms were the motor boat. He rowed. And uh, we were rowing, and as he was rowing, I didn't know what he was teaching me. I could hear the water splashing against the boat, and the boat, which we call Jimon, which is Jimon um, is a boat, and then Northern. Northern is the wind. And as he rode, rode, and he says, uh, listen, listen to the sounds of the water, and listen to the wind. And he says, shh, my daughter. They're singing together. They're singing a song, the spirit water, and the wooden are singing together. And when he said that, I listened to the outside world, and I began to hear the sound, beautiful sound, and it was like a rhythm, a rhythm of song, as he wrote, when the water was splashing against the boat. And then we landed, where the um, fishing spot was. Every, every man had his uh, fishing spot. When we landed there, I was looking, you know, as a child, you're, you're curious, and you want to entertain yourself, because you know, I didn't have dolls, I couldn't bring anything, so you entertain yourself. You know, there was no such word as, I am bored. <laughs> this is bored. That's what I hear today. But for me, there was no such thing as that, nor did I dare to say it. So, and I was looking down, and I was saying different things when I was saying to my father. Now I'm talking to my father, and I said, so shall I of them? Sin, um, this and what I was saying. And then he said, you know what? He said, the water is becoming cloudy. The daughter, the water is becoming dirty. I don't know, maybe in your time, that you will not be able to see clearly what's at the bottom of the, the lake. You see, there's lots of things going on. We don't care what we do. And the dirt, the water's becoming dirty. And I don't know if you'll be able to drink it, maybe in your time or the time after. We gotta appreciate the water, he said. And of course, you know, we had fishing rods. It's not one of those things that you throw. And we have the wooden one, and you have to really be quick. And it's like this. And if the fish bit, you have to really roll the stick with the yes, with the string. So that happened to me. And I said, oh, white. And I was struggling to get that fish in. And of course, uh, the, uh, because I was fighting with the fish to try to get it, and it was fighting me. I lost the fish, and my father laughed so hard. And then he says, Amen dash nigeda. That means, let's, let's go home. Perhaps in your time, he says, you will see that you will be buying water. A few years ago in 1984, I was working in St. Catharines. And I didn't like the taste of the water. So I was shopping at the grocery store. 
And I saw water. And I put it in my heart. And then a, a voice came to my head. See, now I, I told you this would happen. And it was my father's voice. I realized that he told me that story when he did that in 1949, when he told me those kinds of things would happen. And that day of 1984, I was sitting living for real what he meant. And I understood then what he finally meant.